Hello there. Following the previous video where we learned to write a simple web application that can be deployed to prior server. In this video we will learn how we can build and deploy the application. Similar to previous video, I'll be using NetBeans IDE but you can do the same things using any other Java supported IDE. Now you can build the application simply by right clicking on the project and selecting clean build. This should download all the necessary libraries needed for the application. Once the application completes building, time to deploy it. There's three ways to do this. The first way is using NetBeans. You can do this by just right clicking on your project and selecting run. Once the application is deployed, the web browser should automatically open. On the URL, just add input name. This should load the input name page where you can enter your name. Once you enter your name, click submit. Then it should load the display page welcoming you. Second way is via Pyra Server Admin Console. To access the admin console, you'll need to start Pyra Server. You can do this by opening the terminal, navigating to the directory where Pyra Server is installed. Within there, go to the bin directory and execute as admin dot bat start domain command. This should start the default domain one. Now you can access the admin console by opening your web browser and entering localhost 4848. To deploy the application, click on application on the left hand panel and click deploy. On the location field, click on browse and select the application we built earlier. Once you have selected the application, deployment options will appear where you can configure various deployment options. For this demonstration, I will leave it as default. Once the application is deployed, click on launch and click on one of the links where the application is deployed. Finally, you can also use as admin command to deploy your application to prior server. To deploy the application, type in as admin dot bat deploy followed by the location of the application. That is all for this video. Hope you'll find this helpful. Thanks for watching.